Hey everyone, it's Peek. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet another Pokemon Unite video. So today I'm going to be playing good old Cinderace slash Score Bunny. I mean, right now I'm Score Bunny. But uh, you guys, this, this Pokemon's kind of insane. So it didn't used to do this, but now every single one of uh, Cinderace's auto attacks puts a one of these fire stacks that you're seeing next to the Pokemon. Now what that does is it does a percentage of the Pokemon's health and it's super, super good. And the fact that every single one of Cinderace's auto attacks applies it now is just, it's kind of bonkers. It's kind of bonkers. Now, unfortunately your boy overextended there. It happens, but uh, I believe no, they don't get Froakie here. That's okay. <clears throat> oh, I see we have an AFK as well. Unfortunate. But, uh, you know, a little bit over-aggressive. But uh, let me just let me just tell you, it's warranted because Cinderace is just crazy. It's crazy. You can play, you can play so aggressive here. You see we're going to, um, I believe, yeah, we're going to freeze the Snorlax and just be able to take him out. And the thing is, like, with Score Bunny's percent health autos... It doesn't even matter that uh, Snorlax is just sitting there resting, recovering HP, used his potion as well. Like, it literally doesn't even matter because we're just doing, I mean, we're just doing so much damage between me and the Ninetales. It's just, it's crazy. So I'm just go back here and grab the farm. Like, obviously it wasn't the best engagement, the best start, but we turned around. Got a, got a turnaround kill on there and... Um, now that uh, Alolan Ninetales is level 4, we can definitely like go super hard on this. But I'm just kind of waiting for an opportunity to do that. You see we're getting ganked here by the Machoke. Because we're positioning properly, we're just able to get out of that, thankfully. So good stuff there. The uh, the Snorlax really wants to tussle, so that's a good sign for, for uh, us as ranged characters. We can just kind of poke him from afar and kind of chunk down his HP. But we want to make sure we're getting these spawns on cooldown because obviously it's it's obviously the enemy team knows what they're doing. Like <laughs> it's not it's not an easy game by any by any means. This is again one of those one of the uh, later games I played in the beta, so this would have been you know top 100 players. Uh, but thanks again to Cinderace's insane uh, percent health damage combined with a little of nine tails. Uh, just freezing Snorlax. We're going to uh, be able to get the double kill there, and everyone's going to score, which is awesome right here. Because I just get another free score here. Look, I'm just like spamming the score icon because um, I'm just running the items that scale off of scoring goals. Because I'm really just trying to get as much attack as I can on, uh, on Cinderace. Because late game, Cinderace with like scaled up attack items is insane. So you just really want to focus on getting those um, those early goals so you can level, like scale up your item um, as early as possible, essentially. So I'm, I'm probably going to, oh wait, no, I don't even have any points right there. This would be a good time to get a little sneaky goal because I mean, Snorlax can't really, oh yeah, see, I just get, <laughs> I just get absolutely bursted. Look at that smokescreen melee attack from Greninja. That did like 70% of my health. It's crazy. And I mean, I guess Body Slam did a significant portion too, but that combo is just deadly. So unfortunately they're going to get Alola Ninetales too, because that, uh, that combo is, you know, just as potent as, um, just as potent as me and the Alola Ninetales. But, uh, Thankfully, the Greninja kind of overstays, and also Snorlax couldn't really get out there. There was just really no option for him there, so I'm going to get another little micro goal <laughs> up there uh, in order to stack up my item, and then I'm just going to go up here, collect the farm, and then uh, push with this Rotom that my teammates were able to pick up because we got the kills there. Super important that you take objectives off of, off of kills like that. Like... Since we since we took out both Greninja and Snorlax, like they're on death timers, they're at a disadvantage in the top lane. That was a super good usage of the Bone Rush by Lucario to push them back so our Rotom would move up. Because Rotom won't move up to the goal unless um, unless there's no enemies for it to attack. So the fact that Lucario used his Bone Rush to like 
push the enemies back just a little bit so that Rotom would activate on the goal was just was just absolutely perfect. Now, uh, this wasn't the smartest flash by me by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, it was probably one of the worst ones ever done here. Um, but, you know, I, uh, I thought it was going to get a little bit better peel from the from the Eldegoss there. So that was totally my bad. I'm just going to take these buffs. The buffs are super strong on Cinderace, especially this one, because it's uh, <laughs> get caught in the bush because it's slowing enemies. Um, whereas Greninja has an inherent slow on his auto attacks, Cinderace, um, as far as I know, does not. It's just the damage over time from the burn. It might slow a little bit, but the extra slow from the red buff really helps Cinderace be able to kite properly and keep a healthy amount of distance from the enemy. So it's just, it's, it's a really good buff. Like, I, I would say you don't really need blue buff as much. Obviously it helps. Blue buff on anyone is good because it's just, um extra damage on low health targets but the red buff is super super good and that's like things you should consider while playing the game too like do i need both buffs or is like this buff good for me should i give the other buff to my teammate you'll see this lucario is being slowed now unfortunately just due to the nature of lucario having eight million dashes there's no there's no way i catch up to him here and uh yeah he's just gonna be able to extreme speed away but no worries we pressured him out so we're gonna be able to take this little jungle camp um, using the minion attack button so that we don't attack Machamp there. And I'm just going to absolutely shred the Snorlax even though I missed Pyro Ball. Because especially high HP targets like that Snorlax, um, Cinderace is absolutely destroying. Now I start to back there. Now I think I actually should have kept backing because I'm pretty sure that Greninja and that Pikachu are going to keep pushing. But uh, oh, I must have gotten... No, I wasn't even queuing with anyone at that time. I guess the Alola Ninetales was just smart on the positioning. So good on them. Good on them for that. Now, I see the Lucario's here. Now, this this is a prime example of, like, knowing when to go off the objective. Like, obviously, the Lucario can easily use Power Up Punch or Extreme Speed to steal this Rotom. But now that my Alola Ninetales is there, kind of zoning, zoning him off, um, I know I'm in the clear to take it, and we're just able to um, do that. There are a lot of times where you can use Pyro Ball and other like targeted abilities like that um, to hit more than one uh, wild Pokemon. You saw there I was hitting Rotom plus the entire Vespiqu Vespi Vespiquin? Yeah, Vespiquin squad um, with one Pyro Ball. Just little, those little like um, micro adjustments that you can make to just be like micro efficient in your gameplay is what's going to get you the lead in this kind of game especially with the games just being 10 minutes like there's just not you know there's just not much that uh, that you can get in terms of a lead in such a little amount of time so you really gotta you really gotta capitalize on every single little advantage that you can get oof that surf did so much damage to me So you see, I'm I'm gonna reset because I don't know why everyone does this, but uh, I, as you've hopefully seen in my other video, like <laughs> I missed the jump pad here. Um, you don't always go on Zapdos. That's not always the move. I mean, thankfully our Lucario gets the last hit, but like it's a 50/50 chance. Like you really shouldn't be going it here. I mean, thankfully we had the XP advantage and we were like really strong, so we were able to win this fight as well and just like get a complete team wipe on them. But, you know, it's it's risky. Like, it's genuinely risky. And had I had I been, for example, like, communicating with all four of my teammates at that time, I would have told them to get off um, of the Zapdos there. Because it's just, we were so far ahead already. There was literally no reason for us to go on Zapdos there. But it's all good. Um, there is a minute left, so I do need to, like, get out here. Especially since uh, both uh, Greninja and... Uh, what's her name? Eldegoss uh, use their Unite move. I am obviously going to get picked up there because the extra speed from Greninja is going to kind of be the end of me there. The extra speed from Greninja's Unite move. Now, thankfully, I have teammates who are just going to sit and and uh, kind of guard. Uh, I don't think it was smart of the Lucario to go off the jump pad just yet because, you know, you're going to see here that because they left in order to chase kills the greninja gets 78 score right there so you know just little things you got to be aware of like is it worth chasing this kill or is the greninja who i know is low health who still had a lot of points 
is are they potentially still sitting there, you know? And in this case, they were. Obviously, we're fine. Like, we had already won the game, so it's really not a big deal. But uh, that is how a lot of, you know, a lot of high-level Unite matches are, are probably going to go. It's really just, like, who's going to make the slip up? Like, who forgets to defend, you know? And I think eventually people will realize, like, how important defense is. And it'll just it'll just become a matter of eventually I think the meta game will just be like straight up team fights like you either win a team fight or you're not like people are going to be too smart at uh, to not leave their goalposts essentially um, but you know everyone's still learning the game it's still pretty new for everyone so that was the Cinderace game super strong Pokemon uh, easily top five I probably wouldn't say top three maybe i don't know it's it's top five for sure though just the i mean in terms of marksman it's either greninja or um cinderace who are the top right now for sure cinderace is percent excuse me percent health um from the auto attacks is just it's just so crazy for high hp targets like snorlax as you saw in that game so anyway you guys thank you so much for watching uh, i appreciate you all Thank you so much uh, for tuning in. Thanks so much for subscribing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, consider dropping that sub. I would uh, re really appreciate it. Um, and it would it would mean a lot to me if you joined the community here. Um, I'm cranking out a video a day of Pokemon Unite. So look forward to that. You're always going to have something to watch if you subscribe to the channel. So um, definitely be excited for that. For more Unite content to come soon. And until the next video, I will see you then. <laughs> Peace out, you guys. Have a good one.